Welcome, welcome. In this video, we'll cover how to manage your data sources in Looker Studio, formerly known as Data Studio. And we'll cover a quick fix when you run into errors with your reports. So first, let's start off with a blank report and see what it looks like to connect a fresh data source. So when you create a new Looker Studio report, you're brought to this window where you'll add data to your report. And you have two options. You can either connect to data or look at existing data sources that you have. But for this example, we'll go with connect to data and we'll choose Google Analytics. Now here, you'll have to choose your account and then the property that you want to connect. In order for you to connect to a Google Analytics property, you have to make sure that you have access and the proper credentials for that Google Analytics property. Once you've selected your GA property, click on Add in the lower right corner. And then a modal will pop up. So to confirm this, click Add to Report. So here, Looker Studio gives us a data table to start out with. And on the right, we can see the settings specifically for this table. So we can see our data source here, and you can change that if you want, but there's also these dimensions and metrics that come from the data source. Now, if you have an existing report, you have all these reporting elements set up, these widgets, charts, scorecards, data tables with their data sources configured. If you want to configure or adjust the settings, adjust the data sources for these widgets or for these reporting elements, you can adjust or edit the settings for a specific reporting element just by clicking on it and wait till the settings appear on the right. You can edit the data source by clicking on the writing utensil under the data source section. And this area will pop up. So if you need to, for example, change the data type for a dimension or a metric, you can do that by clicking on the drop down for that specific dimension or metric and then choose the data type that you want to change it to. You can also edit the connection. And this is actually a quick trick that will help you address any errors that you might encounter with your reports. For example, if the specific element was having issues showing a number, displaying a number, you could come here to edit the connection and click on reconnect. You may have to apply any changes to the data source, but for this example, I'm just going to cancel and continue. You can also change the data source for the reporting element that you select by clicking on the name of the data source and choosing what you have available. You can also add a new data source. So this is one of the ways you can do that, but you can also click on this add data from the top menu here. And when you click on that, again, you're brought to this section, this frame that pops up and you can connect another data source if you wish. If you want to manage your data source across all your reporting elements and not just a single reporting element, click on resource from the top menu and select manage added data sources. This will bring up a list of all your data sources and from here you can also add a data source or you can edit, you can duplicate, you can remove the data source. If you click on edit, it just brings up this familiar screen with 
all your dimensions and metrics. Again, you can edit the connection, reconnect the data source, or configure any of these other settings for the data source. Now you can also add a data control for the whole page of this report or dashboard. The way you do that is select add a control from the toolbar up here. You'll see this drop down and click data control. Now you can click to add this data control at the top and you'll see the settings appear on the right. So you can select the connector type and also the data set type. So we'll keep it on Google Analytics and for Google Analytics specifically you have the option to choose from Universal Analytics or Google Analytics 4. And when you click on this data control, you'll see all the Google Analytics properties that you have available. So you can change the data source for the entire page. So that includes all the scorecards, the charts, the data tables, whatever widgets, whatever reporting elements you have on this page. Just remember, if you're switching from Google Analytics 4 to Universal Analytics or vice versa, you have to configure or reconfigure the reporting elements because the dimensions and the metrics are different. As an example, we'll set this to Google Analytics 4, click on the drop down, and we'll choose one of the Digital Learning Sandbox Google Analytics 4 properties. So once we select that, the entire page will change. And you can see the data has been updated. And this is how the data control will function in the view mode. So I'm going to change this back. So you can leverage this data control if you want to use a specific reporting template or dashboard template for multiple GA properties. That way when you want to create a report for another property you don't have to copy this report and change each reporting element one by one. Instead when you copy it you can just select the GA property that you want and you'll have the data updated automatically. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.